So now more than ever, patients have doubts and concerns about vaccines for themselves and their children. This is a result of misleading studies about autism and vaccines, misinformation on social media during the COVID pandemic, and actions by the current health administration. I thought it would be helpful to talk with someone who actually recommends and discusses vaccinations multiple times a day. And that's my own children's pediatrician, Carla Keeney with SA Health. Thanks to SA Health for sponsoring this video. So Dr. Keeney, what are some concerns that you hear in the office from parents about vaccines? Well, there are a lot. And like right now, I think there's a lot of confusion and hard to know what do we need and do we have to get all these shots? Did I get this many shots as a kid? Um, we haven't seen this infection in a long time. Are they safe? That's just the, you know, beginning of some of the questions that we'll get. So my son needed a lot of different vaccines today. Is there any concern to giving more than one vaccine at a time? No, it's a great question. Honestly, no. The antigens in the vaccines we're giving are actually more specific than what we had received as kids. And our children just sitting on the floor, playing on the ground, putting something in their mouth, probably see more antigens than what we are giving in the vaccines themselves. So A, they aren't getting too many, I think, to kind of answer that. And there's data about that. Um, but B, they have been studied together. I know there's some question about have they been studied in that way, but they are. They're studied to be given in that set at those ages to protect kids from particular infections that we really think will impact them at those ages. Why do vaccines require multiple boosters? Why isn't one hepatitis B or one polio shot enough? So our immune system is complicated. It's more than sometimes we can understand every bit and nuance to, but we know that it develops as a child's developing. So as opposed to an adult whose immune system is fairly steady over the years, a two month old immune system looks very different than a one year old. And so when we give something at two months, it's not really gonna last as long as that kid might need and their immune system is just starting to build their own antibodies. So we boosted at four to again, get them to the point where they're making their own, which is closer to six months, and then we boost again. What do you say to parents who are hesitant about getting their children vaccinated, especially in the context of the current health administration challenging some of these vaccines? First and foremost, I get it. I understand, I'm a parent. And I think all of us as parents wanna do what's right for our kids. And so we start to hear, well, is something causing, is it a worse issue gonna cause a problem? You start to wonder if you need them. I definitely do think that you need the vaccines. I definitely believe that the science there is accurate. It has stood the test of time. We have reduced illnesses that we haven't seen in years. And honestly, we our generation has benefited from not having seen those infections. I trained when there were those infections, but those people who trained 10, 15, 20 years before me even see more of the benefit from these vaccines and how they have saved lives, um, how they prevent meningitis, how they have decreased our antibiotic use. I mean, there's some really good benefits that are there. I think the other important thing that I would really stress is that please talk to your pediatrician. We have dedicated our lives to the service of children. We want to help. We don't want it to be divisive. We don't want you to be afraid to ask. We want to have the conversation. You have questions and you deserve answers, but we want to help you navigate those answers to see where the accurate answers are and where to find the data. And if there is something you heard that really does sound concerning, can we address that? please talk to that trusted person. You chose your pediatrician for a reason, that relationship we want to maintain, so come to us. And I really do believe that most, if not all, want to be open to the discussion.